Iowa class action lawsuit investigation is actually underway to probe into allegations that people who purchased Iowa policies were misled into expecting unrealistic rates of return that comes after insurance companies presented used, fabricated, and false illustrations in marketing literature and sales material. IULs are used by insurance companies to show favorable growth in sample policies' account values in future years. However, these may be misrepresented or exaggerated by linking returns with the performance of a selected stock index like the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones. This practice deceives and misleads consumers as they are pulled in by the allure of unrealistic and improbably financial positive. Universal life insurance is a type of life insurance product that provides cash value which is affected by the cost of the insurance. And cost of insurance are the cost of underwriting and maintaining the policy and when the premiums that were paid exceeded the cost of insurance, the excess together with interest is credited to the policy cash value. But if the cost of insurance exceeds the amount of the premiums, the deficit is debited from the cash value. When it comes to predicting how well a policy might perform, IUL policy projections make some assumptions that are remarkably optimistic and misleading. First, their interest rate predictions are based on the past performance of a various stock market indexes and is often focusing on a recent 20 to 30 year period. Remember that the last 30 year included the longest bull market in history. So how likely do you think it is that the performance will repeat itself? Are you really willing to bet your life savings on it? The illustrations for these IUL policies are often skewed because they're projecting a given average annual rate of return and then predicting that you'll get the same rate of return every single year for the life of the policy. Now, how likely do you think that is? The cost for insurance and administrative charges are deducted from an IUL policy value every single month. These costs can include insurance charges, policy charges, transaction charges, policy issue charges, premium charges, and costs for additional riders. Now, all insurance policies have costs, but an IUL insurance contract states that when those costs go up for the company, they can pass them on to you, the policy owner. These IUL agents will often show you projections based on the current charges, not the maximum charges you can end up paying. Now, some people call this lowball. Some policies offer an interest rate guarantee of 1%, 2% or even 3% per year to offset years where the market goes down or is flat. However, most policies do not actually credit the guaranteed interest to your policy every year. You may do it every 5 years to 10 years, but very commonly only when the policy is terminated. So the illustration is pure fiction. Meanwhile, all the costs are still coming out every single month, which means your policy will lose value in years the market goes down or sideways and it may even lose value in the years when the market goes up just by a little bit. Did your IUL agent tell you about that? It's entirely possible that you could pay premiums every year and end up with no cash value and no death benefit. If the stock market index is used, don't perform as projected. Can you imagine paying premiums for decades and having zero cash value? The death benefit of an IUL policy, like the premium, is flexible. The death benefit is not guaranteed unless you have a no lapse guarantee. If you have the guarantee, it simply means that you have a death benefit. But it doesn't guarantee that you have any cash value if the index performance is poor or if the cost goes up or both. And with no cash value to fall back on, you have to continue to pay premiums out of your pocket to keep the death benefit in force. Agents promoting this product don't usually mention that, do they? If you miss or delay making premium payments or loan repayments, that can reduce how long your death benefit guarantee stays in effect. And it can even avoid the guarantee altogether. And think about this, an IUL policy, there's no option to turn the policy into one which is fully paid up with no more premiums due. This means that depending on how many factors outside your control, you may have to continue paying premiums out of your pocket for the rest of your life to keep the policy in force. IUL policies shift all the burden and risk of managing the policy from the insurance company to you, the policy owner. The insurance company gets its money, but you don't necessarily get yours. You might very well find yourself having to pay skyrocketing premiums just to keep the policy from lapsing or risk losing everything you've paid into the policy over the years. Most of these IUL experts are uneducated, unethical, and trying to push a product to you. So be careful. For more information, book a call.